So, so do you, uh, fuck you look nervous. I told you, no, he's no, not used to the middle. No, but have, we, are we live or? We, we, dude, they're watching are, are us in Latvia, yet? in Latvia oh, right now. Okay. In we Latvia? T- in Latvia, only in Latvia. Only in Latvia. Yeah. Cause we told them before we came <laughs> down. Cause uh, when we do the show in the studio, it's always Pantels who starts. And then since we've been doing it live here, I was the one that started. And then we were like, uh, well, I told Poseidon, I was like, you should lead. You should be our, our But are we live? We're live host. right now, right? This is yeah. already going yeah. horrible. <laughs> well, welcome <laughs> to another live yeah, taping. You, you got to wait, though, for Yan to not be in front of the camera you're talking to. Because <laughs> you're basically talking to his shoulder. That's All true. Right. That's true. Yeah. I was talking to his shoulder. All right. All right. So you, do you want to, uh, whenever you're ready? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's a- Welcome. Hold on, to- hold on. Do it yeah. when you're ready, though. Yeah, okay. Do you want us to do like a three, two, one action? No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. 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 All right. Three, two, one action. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another live taping of Two Drink Minimum. To my left, I got the legendary comedian Mike Ward. And to my right, I got an uprising, up and coming star. I'm up and coming. Uprising. Comedy star. I'm an open micer. Yeah. Uprising. No, no, up and coming uprising. star. Up- uprising. Up- You're starting a revolution. I'm starting the riots. Yeah. <laughs> Fat lives matter, bro. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. He's gonna burn this fucking place down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's it? that's it. And who are no. you? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, like I'm Poseidon, of course. Okay. Uh, I like how you said, of course. For yeah. people who are new. <laughs> for people who are new, I'm Poseidon. Okay. And for people who no, the show. For people who are new on Poseidon, for people who have been here for a while, I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what he said. So Poseidon, you're leading us yes. tonight. Uh, what are we starting the night off with? <clears throat> well, I, I got into a situation a few weeks ago. A oh, you actually situation. have a story. Okay, yeah, I was yeah, nervous. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I got into a little awkward situation where I hooked up with a girl from Tinder. With a girl from where? The Tinder. Okay, Tinder. Yeah. So... Um, so it was a few weeks ago, and uh, we matched on Tinder, and we started talking. And it was this a was, like, after dick pics? or No, before. The, there was no dick pics in this one. She oh. didn't send you any dick pics? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. There was okay. no uh, dick pics involved in this one. Uh, it's just we, we started talking. We hooked up, and, you know, we decided we agreed to meet up with each other. Okay. So uh, I went and picked her up, actually. Because of, you know, COVID, I'm a bit of a gentleman and this, that, you know. Because of COVID? So if it wasn't for COVID, you would have been like, no. meet me at the bus station. Yeah. If it wasn't COVID, I'd tell her, I'll pick you up from the metro or something, okay. you know, whatever. Wait, so you picked her up at her house? Uh, what I think was her place. Okay. Hold on, why do you think it was her place? Whose place could it have been? Well, because that's what she told me to pick her up from. So I'm guessing... But was it a house or was it like a it Walmart? Like a it's, a Tim, it's a Tim Hortons. <laughs> it was like a, it was like I a picked up in that parking lot. I don't know where she lives in the back. Maybe I didn't ask these questions. So you picked like, up from a house? It was like a triplex. A triplex? Yeah. Yeah, she probably lives there. Yeah. Okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, bro. <laughs> you think she'd go through this elaborate scam just so that yeah. you don't know where she lives? She's fucking smart. If she's it's like, possible, yeah. this guy's know. a goddamn weirdo. <laughs> I'll give him a fake address. Yeah. But she still met you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good so, start. Uh, so the thing is, in, in, in her pictures, she was a lot slimmer. Okay. Yeah. This is a good start. And when I, I met up in person with her, she was rather larger. Okay. Okay. How much larger? Like noticeable? Very noticeable. Okay. Question. You saw her standing there. Yeah. Why didn't you keep driving? <laughs> yeah. She's too fat to run after the car anyway. Yeah. You had it. <laughs> yeah. Like I was a little horny, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. All right. I was, I was just little, curious. Was, little, was, she, was she fat or pregnant, though? No, no, no. Chubby. Okay. Yeah. But, like, how chubby? Like, just, she was just a little... Like, a bit more than, than, than on the pictures. But then, like, she had, like... You know, you know those underwears? Like, so... so like, okay. She was standing out there in her underwear. No, no, no. So, hold on. So, hold on. So, hold on. So like she had I, underwear up to her tits? No, 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 no. Were you no. dating Steve Urkel? What is happening, yeah. bro? So, like, women have this underwear. It's like a high stomach underwear that's, like, very tight. And okay. it, it tightens up yeah. all the fat. And men, we like have the a, same like spandex. A, like a girdle. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 and men, we have the same type of tank tops. It's like the same thing to kind of make us look Did more. Did you say you do? <laughs> no, no, I, men, I personally. Men, we have that. No, I are personally you don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I personally don't have those tank tops. So, anyways. So, who does? <laughs> For real? I, I don't know. So, well, apparently she does the, the underwear. It's like super. So, but are you so, saying spandex? Are you talking about spandex? Who's wearing spandex? No, I don't fucking know, bro. It's like super tight, so you don't look as Wait, fat the, as you are. But, and the, we should buy that then. Yeah. That's what we should do. <laughs> how, no, that's catfishing. I don't want to buy that. How? How? Like he's all about tuna fishing. How do you know she was wearing those underwear? <laughs> I Did found she, out later. Okay, she didn't yeah, have yeah, pictures yeah. of her no, in no, her no. tight yeah, underwear. Yeah, yeah. So okay. after you kidnapped her off the street, you found out. Keep going. No, we introduced each other. Like I'm a fucking gentleman, right, bro? Hey, like, how are you? Shook her hand. So far, none of this has yeah. been a gentleman. You described her to us by making fun of her weight. Yeah. And. And the way she a, dresses. Hold on, they, they calling can... her a fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you opened with She's a fucking a liar. She's a fat yeah. liar. Both true. But I'm a gentleman. Both true. <laughs> I'm a gentleman, bro. This fucking fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it like that. <laughs> you said it more romantic. Yeah, yeah more romantic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So whatever, we go back to my place. We have a glass of wine. We're so chilling. you just picked her up at her place, brought her to your place? Yeah. Which, okay. I, honestly, I don't know why the fuck I did that. I should have just stayed there. And fucked her in the car? No, no, no. And, and go up to her place, I guess. Yeah. But, like... Yeah. You should have forced your way into her place. No, I should have been like, look, I'm already here. Like, why don't we just go up to your place? Yeah, you should have said that. That's not creepy at all. And couldn't, couldn't you have... <laughs> wouldn't it have been better to say, hey, I'm at your place. Why don't we go somewhere? Like, like a date? Isn't yeah. that how well, dates no, work? That you bring no, her somewhere? because we had agreed that... Yeah, where did you bring her? My place. Yeah, it's we're very all, romantic. Yeah, no, that's, we, uh, we, we had established prior that this was a booty call. Like, okay. that we were going to fuck. Okay. Yeah, we had st- I forgot to mention this. I just realized. Yeah. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so this woman that you never met? Yes. You organized the booty call? Yes. Based on her photos? Yes. Then you drove up, yes. saw her, saw that it was a different person? No, no, same person. Right? Different but, photos? No, slightly larger. You were upset about this? I was not so very upset. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. Maybe it's quarantine pounds, you know? Quarantine pounds? <laughs> Maybe it's some, like, I don't know, like anyway, 12 so, quarantine pounds. So you were happy with it. You didn't mind. Now it's cool. I was like, whatever. I don't mind the little chunk. So why are you bringing it up then? But hold on, bro. Hold on. I'm getting there, man. But you keep interrupting me. <laughs> Almost like it's a gag and we're doing yeah. it on purpose. So... <laughs> So we go back to my place, we chill a bit, we have a glass of wine, we talk a bit. What, just one glass for the two of you? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 uh, each, each. They're like, here you go. go. <laughs> I had two straws, it was yeah. romantic. <laughs> this proves there's no rape drug in this. <laughs> That's actually uh, smart. Yeah. That's smart yeah. You are romantic. So whatever, we start making out, I uh, start to undress her, and then she was even bigger when I undressed her somehow. <laughs> really? This is amazing. She's a magician. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh, fuck, now she's a little too big, but I've already committed. Right? <laughs> so at least he commits yeah, to the bit. Yeah. So I was like, ah, fuck it, whatever. You know, it's like, it's sex, whatever. It's going to be mediocre sex, whatever. So we, we, we is start- that what she was thinking? Or would you, or both? Probably you were both thinking? of us. Yeah. Probably she both was thinking, of us. I only came for the ice cream. I now. was thinking mediocre. She was probably thinking terrible sex. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I don't, I don't blame her. She was her. like, he should wear a tight tank top. <laughs> She's like, Poseidon's going on the list. <laughs> oh, fuck. So whatever. So we start making out and uh, I kind of reach under and I, I start. Reach under? Under where? The bed? No, no, like, grab a gun? Between her legs. <laughs> okay. I start, I start, uh, jerking her off, r- rubbing, <laughs> flicking the bean, as you say. Okay. How big was his dick? <laughs> was it cut or uncut? <laughs> was she Somalian? Um, I guess, <laughs> I guess she was about to climax. And, uh, you guess she was about to climax. I guess. I don't fucking know how what this shit works, say? bro. I'm not an expert. The rent is due. <laughs> like, how did you, uh, why, what made you guess? No, she was like shaking. And like a fear. making sounds. <laughs> she, you know, she's you like, guys don't stop. Come. You guys don't she's stop. She's like, help, help. <laughs> Yo, she's coming. She's coming. <laughs> okay, so she was trembling. <laughs> she's in a stranger's apartment. A man who gave her a literal Look, cup of wine. I'm going to be honest. I was more afraid than she was, I think. 
Of what? What are you scared of? I don't know, like getting robbed or something. I don't know this broad. I don't fucking know this you broad, bro. You were afraid bro. that was her trick to rob you? Maybe. let you finger her? No, well, Lil, Rain, Lil That's Wayne... That's a terrible, terrible yeah. thief. And then you're bro, like, I'm on. gonna go wash your hand, wash my hands. L and she's like, I'm gonna steal this TV. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wayne raps about this, by the way, where they send Lil women... Lil Wayne? Yeah, Lil Wayne, where they okay. send women to sleep with dudes. Yeah. And then while they're asleep or taking a shower, the yeah. woman opens the door and a bunch of dudes come in yeah, and rob you're the You're the kind of guy that Lil Wayne is gonna rob. He's like, bro, I'm gonna go in there, steal a frozen pizza, a fan, and a mattress. <laughs> That's why I got the fuck a machete, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, and as I guess she was like, she was she was liking it, you know what I mean? And uh We don't know what you mean. Yeah. Did she say I like it? No, no, but she, I don't know, bro. She seemed to have liked it. Okay. And uh, I guess she was getting close or whatever. And there was a lot of built-up tension. And she basically just let out a fart. <laughs> and it... Uh, so as I'm going... <laughs> as I'm like this, standing up, I just hear... She's like, huh? <laughs> I was like... I was like, there's no way this just fucking happened right now. There's no way this just fucking happened. Karma. So Karma for what? What did I do? <laughs> I heard that you fart when you get fingered too. That's what <laughs> So now, like, I'm not even fully erect. I'm, like, half erect. So <laughs> the I, fart helped to get you halfway there? No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck yourself. So I was like, so I didn't know how to react. So I just pretended it never happened. Did you Grab make eye contact with her? Yeah, it was Did like she know that you knew? Yes. How loud was it? It was very loud. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't like a queef? Like no, that was not a queef, bro. Maybe heard, it was your mattress? Heard, no, no. Yeah. I've, I've heard queefs. That was not a queef. Maybe that it was, was your fart. neighbor that was staring if, in the window? That if, was, if it was you, too long to be a queef. Uh, okay, if you had Queefs to, are short, sporadic. If you, have to, if you had to reenact the sound of the fart... I already like, did. No, no, but if you had to reenact yeah. it for court, like it's not, it had okay. to be as close as possible. How would it sound and how long was it? <laughs> I feel ridiculous. <laughs> like that. Like, like that, <laughs> so that sounds like somebody was opening your door, really. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound like a fart. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it was a fart. Anyway. Okay. Did she react? We both froze for a bit. That's funny. We both froze. So I was like this. So then she farts, and I was like, and she froze, and we were both just like, and then I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, so I was like, fuck, I've never been in this situation. Do, were you like, do I have to fart too? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I should have done, to put her at ease, the real gentlemanly thing to do would have been, so I fart, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, whatever. Would that have been the gentlemanly thing to do, yeah. is to I fart think on so. her? I don't know, to make her feel more uh, comfortable. Yeah. You know? Just take a Not shit as embarrassed. No. <laughs> the gentlemanly thing to do. Gentlemanly thing to do is to shit with the door open. <laughs> so she knows we mean business. All right, and then what happened? So we both froze like that, and I was like, fuck, I don't know what to do next. So my next thought process was to just go grab a condom and to, to fuck. That's it. Oh, that's a good and segue, yeah. yeah. Uh, Makes sense, yeah. We fucked. And, so, uh, when you saw her freeze up, you're like, this is the best time to penetrate her. Well, because, like, cause like I, don't know, I, don't know what to do, I don't know what to do next. I don't know. I was like... So, somebody farts, the situation is awkward, you're like, I have to fuck them. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're about to fuck, right? Yeah. So, the pause was like, fuck. You know, I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do. So, I will, I, I, basically, I just went back to what I was going to do initially. Okay, pretend like it didn't happen. Yeah. But you didn't notice. There was no smell. There was nothing. So you were fine. Oh, no. It smelled terrible after. <laughs> <laughs> did it? So how did you do that? Uh, half a wreck, then fucking five minutes. Just fucking closed my and eyes. It, it reeked like so it was bad. It smelled even after. I had to open all my windows when I came back. I had to open all my windows, let it air out. And you drove her home? I sprayed. Yeah, I drove her home. Like, I got to get rid of her. Did, did, did you spray the apartment with perfume I, while she no, no, was no, waiting I, in the doorway? No, no. <laughs> I sprayed the whole, the whole apartment with Febreze. Imagine okay. Like, oh, it smells like shit I basically, I basically ran and just kept spraying. I kept walking, spraying behind he her. He pulled was a Naruto. Still, was she still in the apartment? No, no, she was gone. Okay. I brought her okay. back. Yeah. 
Did you bring her back right after you stopped right a- fucking? Yeah, right after we fucked. I was like, uh, look, uh, something came get up. Get your shit and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I was like, look, something came up. I got to be somewhere. So uh, I got to get going. Where? Anywhere but here because it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Did wow. she come or, or just you? You came I, I and then you're me. like, I, I got to drive you home. I think just me. I, I, I wasn't even trying. I was like, ah, fuck it. I wonder what her version of the story is. Yeah. <laughs> I want, honestly, I wonder too. <laughs> this guy was fingering me and then he just farted and stared at me. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't me. I don't fart. Uh, you fart that. a lot. What are you talking about? What are you talking you about? You never farted? You're the one that farts all the time. I've never farted in my life. <laughs> it's never happened. I That's don't even know what it's like. Huh. But you're telling me you've never farted? No, I, I fart, of course. With a girl? No. Okay, there you go. That's why. Depends. If I get comfortable, though, I'm chilling. Why are you having sex? No, no, no. Not, not That's what we're saying. We're saying no, no, no. This. Never, never, never during sex. I'd rather hold it and become constipated than fart during sexual intercourse. <laughs> so if you hold in a fart, you become <laughs> constipated? Well, because yeah. like, when you fart, it means you got you to gotta shit, right? Usually, most of the time. Nine but out of you ten. can't. So that you can't hold in a fart without you being constipated? If he holds in a burp, he shits himself. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that was maybe her way of, of uh, like telling you that she didn't want you to finger her? Nah, I think that was a mistake. That's a good okay. strategy, like yeah. a skunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she did. <laughs> <laughs> She's exactly like a skunk. Yeah. <laughs> she she oh, sprayed shit. him so he would stop, but he didn't take the hint. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's a weird... Wow. Yeah, that was a weird, awkward yeah. situation. That, that's going to be an amazing story to tell your kids and grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> so when you went back home, that's when you smelled and you had to open the windows. Yeah, exactly. So it still smelled. Yes. God you damn. had a Seinfeld situation, the yeah. BO. Yeah. yeah. So I went back home and I had to open up all the fucking windows. Yeah. How long fuck? did you leave them open? About an hour or two. That is a... Wow, yeah, that's a fuck? fucking... Yeah. That's a beast of a fart. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was the fart. Yeah. What do you that's think? That, what do you else. think it was? That's like her. Uh, that's something else. That's like bo. That's like in the mattress. Oh no! I have a protective layer on the mattress. Well, about one of those uh, security blankets. It didn't protect you from that, man. Like uh, it's. I don't know how good it is. So what is that supposed to protect you from? The smell. But I changed all my bed sheets after. I was like, this is. Oh, I gotta. I gotta fucking change this shit. Why don't you set them on fire? I said, I, I, that's what I did. You should have reacted as if you had bed bugs. Just fucking set everything <laughs> on fire. It was done. So my buddy did once. He threw his did she? Uh, did she write write you after, or did uh, you guys talk after? Or no? no, she okay. she realized she realized like that, and we never. She never sent you a message. Sorry about the fart. No, that's not classy. I know. She should have. I feel like she should have. Yeah. At least that. At least like, look, I didn't want to tell you in person because I was a little embarrassed. But I'm really sorry I farted <laughs> while you were rubbing my. You imagine getting that. that text. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, fuck. I wish she just said yeah. nothing. Yeah. You were such a gentleman. And then I ruined it by farting. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a fart emoji? There has to be. There, you should send her a fart emoji. Probably just the blowing wind. Yeah. Do you still have her emoji. on uh, Tinder? No, I unmatched right away. Come on, bro. You have to no. keep that so you can send fart emojis and such. I think you... The, the wind, the, the blowing wind emoji with the sh- poop emoji. Or a butt. Is there a butt emoji? Yeah, the butt blowing wind poop. Why the would butt. you put the poop? Did she shit herself? No, because it smelled like shit. That's too much. Though. Too much. Okay, yeah. so just the butt and the blowing wind. Yeah, you used yeah. to be classy. Now I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> yeah, you used to be a gentleman. <laughs> I don't know. You saw what happened in Beirut? Oh, yeah. Fuck. God, that's a weird transition, yeah. I know. But yeah. I was thinking of explosives, and uh, <laughs> it, it brought me there. What the fuck, dude? What a terrifying yeah. video. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it was crazy. Did you see the crater that it left afterwards? No. You didn't see the crater? I didn't see a whole humongous hole. crater. Yeah. You're going to go fill it? No. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I understand. It was a bomb. It was yeah, a, yeah, yeah. what is it? Ammonium nitrate? Yeah. 2,500 pounds of it? Or yeah, 25,000. How... Jesus. How many uh, people died? A lot. Because I was looking at the numbers, and the numbers seemed like made insanely up. low, like definitely made up. Oh, you think they're high? Well, a lot of people are unaccounted for. Because yeah. apparently it like, melted people that were close to ah. it. It's, it's a, like a legit super tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. The well, saddest part about this is that he wasn't vacationing in Beirut that day. Yeah. That's the saddest part about the whole situation. I saw that Mia Khalifa is doing an auction to sell her glasses that she wore in uh, when she was doing porn. P- glasses that got cummed on. Glasses that got cummed on, and the the bid was fifty two thousand U S. Who is that person? I don't know. 
someone that really likes cum on glasses. Or someone that's wanted to give to Beirut but didn't know how. There are better, there are better yeah. ways. He was like, should I give to the Red Cross or... No, I should buy some glasses would come on them. But what do you, how do you explain that to your friends when they come yeah. over? You're showing them your paintings and then dirty glasses? Yeah. That's I wonder if you'll frame them. What a stupid person. Who's yeah, doing that? Yeah. Some, who, yeah. That, that's someone that has way too much money and no taste. Yeah. Like that's someone, that's definitely like uh, uh, someone that's selling Coke. That, that's like someone that has way too much money that they, they can't tell the government about. So they have to just buy stupid shit. But that's uh -huh. just buy, why don't you buy glasses that have not been jizzed on? Yeah. Right? Well, but like they, the, the, glasses that haven't been jizzed on don't help anyone. But oh, these, yeah, so him, he's like, people. I'm helping Beirut. He's thinking about Beirut. But how do you say that to people? Yeah. How did you help Beirut? Let yeah. me tell you, there's a pair of glasses <laughs> that a bunch of adult gentlemen came on. Yeah. I wonder, right here. I wonder, like, he probably, I hope the auction is that whoever wins has to give money to the Red Cross or whoever the, the whatever organization is going to handle it, and not to Mia Khalifa. Because then how do you explain that to, like, your accountant and your, like, why did you write a check for $53,000 to a porn star? And you're like, tragedy. <laughs> Yeah, how do you explain that? Yeah. You give you give the account the glasses. Yeah. You're like, look, I'm telling you, children yeah. of the future. Yeah. Take a look. They're there. It's yeah. fucking, there's layers Did you to say that children joke. of the future? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's layers to that one, Poseidon. That was a good one. Like I like the that jizz. one. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah very, that's crazy. Very, very tragic. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a, the type of tragedy when you read. Like, at first I was like, how, like, we want to help. And you're like, I, I want to do something, but there's n I don't even know what you could do. I stopped beating up Arabs for that day just to show my solidarity. Really? Yeah. For one day. That's very good. <laughs> You're a good person. I didn't know what to do. I called my friends who are Lebanese to see about their family and stuff. One of my yeah. buddies told me that like his grandparents, their uh, windows, everything blew up. Jesus. Like all that, but they're, they're, at least they're alive. Yeah. There's a lot of people unaccounted for. So it's kind of, it's very fucked up, dude. It's very, uh, like just innocent people disappeared. And is that, does that like leave uh, long-term effects? Is that like, it, you know, like an atomic bomb would or a nuclear bomb? I don't know. They said that the air was polluted. Yeah, the, the sky turned orange. Yeah, so it yeah, sounds so fucking terrible. And it's so people third. that didn't die are, are going to get cancer. Something like yeah. that, yeah. yeah. It's a, well, uh, this guy drank fucking asbestos water last week, so he's, yeah. he's I'm telling you, this I'm guy fine. can survive anything. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a cockroach. Just much larger and better dressed than a cockroach. I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> but you know, you're like a cockroach is what I'm saying. But yeah, no, it's very, very bad. I wanted to bring that up so people uh, don't think that we forgot about it. Like, it happened. I just don't know where to go with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least now we know there's no way that two planes could have uh, destroyed the so Twin that, Towers. That, 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 that's what you got from that? <laughs> no, no, that's not what I got from it. <laughs> so when you saw... We're conducting but, this experiment. Well, because look, that was the third biggest explosion in, in, in the history of uh, mankind. It was Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and then this. So one. you think a plane crashed into Beirut? No. <laughs> or was it Tower? Do you think it's Tower Seven? It's Tower Seven and Bill Gates that blew up Beirut. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I'm just saying. Not at least we know. Okay. So how do how do like I'm uh, not what a scientist. What do we know? Sorry, what do yeah, we know? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Please explain so to I'm us. I'm not a scientist yeah. either. But now we know. What do we know? The jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. Well, there was no jet fuel involved in this, so... Yeah. Uh, similar, ammonium, nitrate, whatever. Same similar. thing, bro. Same similar. thing, bro. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think what you're trying to say, and you would say it if you weren't retarded, is that <laughs> if ammonium nitrate at that level with that explosion would still leave building standing, how can two towers uh, fall due to jet fuel, right? Being that. Basically. Okay, but that's not what you said. You made really? it sound like planes were hitting Beirut and that absolves the World Trade Center. Like random. You, oh, I see what you mean. I you turned you into mean. your yeah. dad like this in an instant yeah. and then <laughs> that's what happened, yeah. I see what you're saying. It is suspicious. Mm. Well, I only did finish high school, so. But what? I only did finish high school, so. Did you, though? Yeah. Did you? No. Yeah. Debatable. Barely. Barely. Like, yeah. 
like barely. Like I have to cheat a bit. He met a rapper friend <laughs> today. We were at the studio, the new one. Okay. And there's a recording mm. studio next door. There was uh, rappers there. And there was a guy that he was giving dirty looks to, and he was giving him dirty looks. They were giving each other dirty looks. <laughs> He's like, got a The whole beef. time, in and out, it was like about a half hour of every time they'd see each other, just like dirty looks. And well, they're like, these guys are either going to fuck, you know, or. Yeah. Uh, and then he went outside to smoke, and the guy's like, yo, man, do you remember me? And Poseidon's like, no, I don't fucking remember you. But he's like, and then it turns out they were friends in high school. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He just, yeah. So anyone that looks at you in the real world, oh, he you, loses his shit. you think they're, they're trying to start something? Yeah, yeah all the yeah. time. We almost beat up two fans here, like, uh, last year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Because yeah. the guy, and that, that wasn't his fault. That was my fault. Because yeah. the guy kept looking at me. I was like, if, this guy, if I turn around, this guy's looking at me one more fucking time. So then I go, hey, let me, what the fuck are you looking at? And the guy's like, oh, je suis un grand fan. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. I thought he was just causing trouble. We're like gorillas. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> me more than you, I think. Yes. But you too. Yeah. The gorilla light. I'm dyed gorilla. <laughs> yeah. I'm gorilla heavy. I'm gorilla for the diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So, yeah. yeah, so he wants to fight with anyone that looks at him. Is the guy, is your friend, uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, his rap name. Yeah, what is his rap? He told me, but I forgot. Did he tell it. you his rap name? Yeah. Well, no, you he forgot. He's, it he's not a rapper. His friend is a rapper. Oh, I see something okay. funny like yeah. Kling Kling or something like that. Like, no, no, no. no. I, I honestly don't remember. He told me his name. I forgot his name already again. Well, what is it? They were Indians, Pakistanis, or were they? Uh, they were of the brown nature. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> Do you remember what they were? I don't know. It could be Indian, Pakistani, Sri Lankan. Oh, you have no idea? No idea. Well, how do you tell them apart, bro? <laughs> no, because you, because you know the guy. Yeah. You know the guy. You went to he was your best friend in high school for five years. <laughs> yeah. It's like the fucking Chinese, bro. And the this guy, this is how you get in trouble because he'll do shit like that. I'll be like, this guy brought the packy, and then the guy's like, dude, I'm El Salvadorian, right. and then it starts yeah. shit. You know, <laughs> he does that a lot. He mixes people up. So you don't know? No. Nah, I wanted to guess his stage name. His buddy stage name, the little guy that was with him, he's the rapper? Yeah. Probably Was Indian, he good? Though, I don't know. Lil New Delhi, that's his name. Lil New Delhi. I like it. Lil New Delhi. Yeah. Yeah. Or Master Mumbai. Or what about Lil... <laughs> bro, Lil Nan. Lil Nan. Lil Nan, bro. I fucks with that name. DJ that's Samosa. Name. I like that name. <laughs> is it DJ Samosa? Is it Samosa or Mimosa? Which one is it? <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh, samosa. So DJ mimosa samosa is, is like the champagne, drink, right? Yeah. yeah, DJ samosa. Yeah. yeah, that's good too. That's a good name too. Yeah, I like it. I heard somebody was called once a young spatula. <laughs> okay, it's not bad either. Actually, I like that. He's yeah, always flipping right. shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not awful. Yeah, <laughs> I fucks with that. It's not awful. Young spatula. Young spatula. Young, young spatula. Yeah. So I finally, um, I sent in my, my letter to the uh, municipal court that I am contesting the speeding ticket. Okay. And I attached, I didn't write anything, but I attached, they said you could attach like as many images as you want, like up to 10 or some shit. So I attached a photo of the specifications of my car and a photo, a map of uh, Papineau in, in that uh, area. So then when we go to court, they won't know why, but I'm telling them, please bring up the map and please bring up the, you know, the statistics. As you can see, exhibit A, you know, if... <laughs> We will assume there's no traffic, but there was because it was 3.30 on a Monday. But we're saying there's no traffic. Even if I want to reach those speeds, I would have to pass this fucking dummy cop in order to get to that speed. So how did he stop me beforehand? I'll tell you how. Because he's fucking lying. Case dismissed. I got this. I got, <laughs> I got a speeding ticket this week. Uh, and the date um, on the ticket, I wasn't even in Montreal. Oh, get the fuck out of yeah, here. I was, I was uh, at my uh, country house. And, but I got a ticket, and I have no idea. And generally what they, date? Uh, it, was, uh, I, it, was a, it was a Friday, and I remember that day I was in the country. So I, and I, I don't drive in the country. Maybe it was those cameras? Maybe it was yeah, uh, but those, at first I thought maybe someone, but I thought about that, and I was like, oh, shit, that's the best thing to do to someone that you hate. Like if you if your neighbor drives like a Toyota Camry and you hate him, you rent a Toyota Camry, take a picture of his license plate, fucking get it laminated, stick it over the real license plate, and then just drive like 200 miles an hour Yo. in front of 
I'm down with this yeah. kind of revenge plot. Yeah. So at first I thought maybe it's that, but uh, when you get those tickets, they only charge you money. They don't take points away. Yeah. My yeah. thing, they took points away. That's impossible. Uh, that's yeah. impossible. They can't so, prove you were driving the car. Yeah. So I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write them or call them. But I, I'm I'm probably just gonna end up doing nothing. Maybe no, that's. No, don't pay. Don't pay. <laughs> maybe that's the fucker who bought your uh, BMW. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it's, it's this fucking guy. Yan. It's true. God he does have your Oh shit. Goddamn piece of garbage. Yan. And Yan is known. <laughs> Jan yeah. is known in the streets of Montreal. Fuck. He's known as a reckless driver. <laughs> you know how shitty that would be? That he didn't even change the license plate. <laughs> <laughs> but he's known as a reckless driver. Yeah. He hits minorities on purpose. Yeah, he's yeah. known for that. Yeah. He doesn't know if they're Indian or Pakistani. Doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't care. He just hits yeah. them. Yeah. Whenever he sees a brown person, he's like, move over, rapper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little Mumbai, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's dirty, dude. Yeah. But I was when I thought of that plan, that's the best way to fuck with someone. By by getting a, wait, there are better ways of fucking. There are better people, ways, but, but that's, that's an a good easy way. way of fucking with. But someone. not easy because you could get caught. But you you wear a hat with glasses. I, I don't mean the camera. I don't think they care about that. I mean, what if you actually get stopped for speeding? Yeah, and then they're like, "Sir, that's a photocopy of a license plate." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you're in trouble twice. Yeah, and they say, "Really? Huh? What are the odds? I didn't know yeah. that." Yeah, you blame the rental company yeah. people. Go, that motherfucker. You ever I... seen people that work at car rental places? They're fucking retards. <laughs> really? I wouldn't know. I rented shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to go back to your uh, <clears throat> uh, alleged uh, car rental place? I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's made a life decision. Yeah. He never wants to go back. Yeah, that's true. That's what he said. I never but wanted to But his entire career <laughs> depends on. on my success. <laughs> but it's not because it was uh, the place. It was because... Uh, the I people? Just, no, I just don't want to go back to 9 to 5 anymore. Okay. He never worked there 9 to 5. He always yeah, worked like 4 to 10. Yeah, you worked like 4 to midnight. No, no, no. But, like, but like what I'm trying to say is You that do realize <laughs> 9 to 5 isn't an expression. It's actual hours. No, 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 I know. I know. (laughs) I can't go back to working 13 hours a week like a goddamn slave. (laughs) I work 9 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday from 3 to 6. It's fucking horrible. (laughs) No, it's like a 9 to 5 in the sense that, like, it's a a 40-hour-a-week job. Like like a a goddamn grown-up. Yeah. That's what humans do. No, but I want to fucking... You're supposed to work. No, no, I know, but I wanna. I no longer want to work a lot. No, 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 that's not. I don't, know, I don't know how to phrase this. Hold on, hold on. You don't want to work for real. Control, I I, I, I'll delete. I don't want to work. I don't want to work. I don't know. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, motherfucker. I don't know why this is not getting to you guys. No, no. I don't want to work. <laughs> Um, I'll try it again. I don't want to work. Is that does that make sense? No, but I wanna. <laughs> no. uh, hold on, I gotta phrase this. I wanna work for something that I really enjoy doing. I want you as, as soon as you get another job, we should just send that part of the podcast. So you going? I don't want to work. I don't want to work. To your new boss. Basically, he's okay. going to try his best to never have to go back to yeah. a regular job. Real job. Okay. Yeah. But by him trying his best, it means that he's betting his life on me being successful. Because yeah. <laughs> you trying your best is just you looking at him and going, please make more money. <laughs> please. <laughs> and when you do make more money, oh, well, no, give a... it to me. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like uh, well, you know, no. he's going to bet his money on someone. You found, uh, you found a good guy to bet your money on. Uh, but yeah, that's what he's betting so his money on. So basically, your career goal is you saw Entourage and you were like, I want to be Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's Turtle. But our Turtle, he's Tortoise. Yeah. Yeah. No, with well, the podcast yeah. and this, that, and the studio. Yeah, we get yeah. what we're yeah. saying. We yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to be doing nothing to get yeah. there. I don't expect turtle, that. Turtle on Entourage had a fucking... He had a... a a limo a, business. A tequila and a tequila business. Yeah. Like at the end of the series, he was worth like $9 billion. Yeah. And you're like, I don't want to be a piece of shit like him. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't mind opening a Uzo business. You wouldn't mind, but everyone around you would mind it very much. <laughs> what do you know about Uzo? I could learn. So the question, the I answer is nothing. I could learn. Look, I know it's, uh, 
It's a liquid. Look, I know it's alcohol that's made in Greece. How it's made, I don't know. Yeah, so you don't know anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, bro. I could Google it. But then how do you know that's a business you would like? It's a lot of money to make with a Uzo business in Montreal from a guy that doesn't really know anything yeah. about alcohol. <laughs> doesn't make sense. People are going to line up to throw their money at you. You'd oh, make more money becoming the fucking, I don't know, the cleaner of Mia Khalifa's glasses. Like, you'd be make more money doing that, probably. I think so. Yeah, but you have to clean it with your Yeah, tongue. but she's out of the porn industry now. Now she's, uh, she's bashing it all the time. Oh, what is she doing now? Yeah, now she's like, uh, she's like trying to get signatures to get her videos off of uh, Bang Bros. That's I not think. a job. What is she doing for work? Yeah. Well, I don't fucking know, bro. I don't know the woman's life. Well, you knew enough. No, no, I just know that from articles that have popped up that uh, she's bashing the porn industry and she's bashing Bang Bros. She's bashing the porn industry. She's yeah. like, fuck you guys for yeah, she's, me she's, getting money. She's, saying, she's calling back it then. like consensual rape. Something like that that it ruined her life. Consensual yeah. rape. Yeah, some weird shit like that. Consensual rape. That's something rape? written in the diary of a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> it was rape, but it was consensual rape. Cause like she said no, but only in English. Cause like apparently. <laughs> yeah. Consensual rape. Is that a, a thing that you just made up, or you actually read that? Uh, I think I read it. Okay. It's possible I, I may have read it. I think I read it. <laughs> Your no, Honor, I so, thought she said yes. <laughs> I thought, Dios mio, no, man, let's do this. I didn't. Uh, God damn. I don't fucking speak Mexican, Your Honor. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. So uh, well, what's happening is like she's out of the porn industry now. And she's trying to collect these signatures to get Bang Bros to stop uh, editing. Because ba- what Bang Bros is doing, they're, they're editing her videos yeah. and splicing them up to look like they, they're brand new. Yeah. And then putting them back up and making money off of them. Okay. But didn't they pay for those videos? Didn't they get releases? Yeah, exactly. So then? So that, that, but that's, that's. What I'm saying is it's shitty, but how are they the bad guys if they yeah. own the rights to that? No, not. They do. They own the rights. She signed the yeah. shitty contract, is what I'm saying. Because a I'm lot saying, of people yeah. jumped online and they were defending her and they're like, the porn industry, they're a bunch of rapists. Nah, nah. This, that. There is rape in the porn industry. No, too, obviously, right? there's rape in every industry, bro. Hold on. There's... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Me and Mike can say that, yeah. but you, uh, what kind of rapists are at the car rental place? <laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> no, not that I know. There's rape in every industry. <laughs> Which well, car guess. rental place has the most most yeah. race uh, most rapists? She we wanted, know the, the one with the most racists. It's all you work at. Dollar, but she doll- wanted an Acura. Dollar thrifty. <laughs> she left with what? Dollar thrifty rapes people. Do is they? It, is it part of a package? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm just talking shit. I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine, though, that Dollar Thrifty is just a whole rape thing? <laughs> I like that you say, imagine if they're all rapists and his reaction is, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> ha, cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah, so every industry has rape. Okay, go on. I guess. I don't know. I'm paraphrasing. So that's not what paraphrasing that's means. Not what para- I know. That's not. It's that's actually closer to parachuting than it is paraphrasing. <laughs> Where was I going with Mia Khalifa? You, Nobody you knows. Saying, you were saying that the porn industry has. Oh a lot yeah, of she started bashing the porn industry that uh, they're all scumbags and this that, and then other porn stars came out defended the porn industry, saying that they love what they do and that Mia Khalifa was a dumb bitch and. Uh, all that shit. I don't, I don't know her personally. I've never met yeah, her. Yeah, me neither. I'm just saying. Like, Did they call her a dumb bitch? Yeah. He's Publicly? Par- I'm, I'm paraphrasing. paraphrasing. Yeah, you're paraphrasing. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. yeah, and if you Google, it's probably porn stars that said, we're sorry she feels that way. Yeah. And he was like, exactly. Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. That, but honestly, if you're going to ever write a book, or release an album, it has to be called Poseidon Consensual Rape. Yeah. That's oh, what God. it has to be called. Never. <laughs> Never? <laughs> Why? It's like, what does that mean? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, but she's now, uh, I actually do know what she's doing to make money. Oh, what is she? she? Uh, oh, shit. She, um, she, ha- she does like uh, sports commentary. She kind of has oh, like that's a, Lisa Ann, no? She does the same exact thing as Lisa Ann. But, uh, but Lisa Ann is good at fantasy football picks. Yeah, she's a uh, Ami Khalifa is only about uh, te- teams in Washington. Like she's a crazy 
uh, Redskins watch- fan? No, mostly um, uh, the Capitals, the hockey team. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Ovechkin and such. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I don't. I don't know if she's. A, a, I think basketball too. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm not sure if she knows anything about football. Whereas Lisa Ann, it's mostly football. Yeah, Lisa Ann likes basketball too. But you know what I don't like about the the Washington teams, that with the names, they're always so shitty. They're all like uh, the basketball team used to be called the Bullets. Okay. The Washington Bullets. What 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 are they called now? The Wizards. They went from bullets to the wizards because they said bullets is too violent. But what about wizards? Yeah. Wizards are actually more violent. Than more bullets. violent. Yeah. Priests are dressed like wizards when they fuck kids, bro. Yeah. They're, it's basically they're That's the true. Washington pedophiles. That's yeah. who they are. And the KKK, what do they call them? Called the, the wizards. The, the grand, grand wizards. wizards. Yeah. Exactly. wizards. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, a KKK themed NBA team. Yeah. There's layers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder canceled. if the KKK that's their favorite team. Could you imagine? And they're like, we fucking love them, <laughs> but not all the players. Yeah. <laughs> we have problem with the with all of the good players. We don't like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that guy on the third string, he's, he's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy that can't shoot. Yeah. He's, he's my dude. And that guy cleaning the surface between quarters. I like that kid. <laughs> I like him. He those should five, be the captain. Yeah, those five starters. <laughs> fuck them. I don't like them. Yeah, it's fun. The Wizards, because it bullets is too violent. Yeah. But, it's, you know, it's a, it's a sport. You want, like, team names, like Aren't Warriors like, and shit. Every, like, every team names, well, for, uh, they're supposed to be violent. Yeah. Because you're supposed to, like, be afraid of them. Yeah, it's competitive. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's a weird name. Well, actually, of, no, the Montreal Canadiens. Is yeah. Like, <laughs> the Canadians. Like, oh, these guys are going to come apologize all yeah. night. I can't. Uh, <laughs> 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 but hockey names are cooler. Nordiques was a cool name. Quebec City, Nordiques. That was a cool name. That was a yeah. cool logo. The Whalers was... was the, w- I like the names because like, there was no Whalers in Hartford. Yeah, there's no whales there. Yeah, no whales. So why would... You, you'd you have the worst business if you were a, a professional <laughs> a <Washington> whaler <laughs> in Hartford. No, it was a Hartford Whalers, yeah. The whales. Yeah. And then where did they move to? Because they turned uh, to they, I think they... I don't know where they moved. Atlanta had the Thrashers. Yeah. They would thrash you. Right? Yeah. That's a good name. Oh. The Thrashers. The Canucks. You know what the Canucks is? It's a derogatory name for Canadians. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's just they ripped off the Montreal Canadians. And they made it racist. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we, I want to be the Canadians. Yeah. They already exist. Okay, we're the Canucks. What? <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> That's like, I want to be... I want to be the Montreal Chinese. You can't. I'm going to be the Vancouver Chinks. Yeah, I did. That's what they did. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they did. Yeah. That's and everybody's funny. just cool with it. They're like, all right, yeah. we don't want him to go any further down. We don't well, want that's because that's that's Canadians are yeah, we white. Don't want to, we're like, we're the Vancouver... No, 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 stay with the Canucks. Stay with the Canucks, that's fine. We're cool Is, with it. it. No one's offended by the word Canuck, though? I'm or not offended by Probably, uh, you know how stupid 2020 is? There are probably some people who are offended by the word Canuck. For sure. They're like, that's, that's insulting. Canuck. You know what's insulting? That Vancouver has a fucking hockey team. That's what's insulting, bro. The Canucks. I'm talking shit about Vancouver just to piss them off. I like Vancouver, though. No, I'm have just you ever busting been balls. In Vancouver? I, no, I have no problem with Vancouver. I said it because I like when people watch... And they take and they us too angry. seriously yeah. and they get angry. I've I, seen some comments are the best comments. Like, yeah. you sons of bitches. I believe in this. It's like, guys, we're not serious. Yeah. We're fucking yeah. around. Like, calm your tits. <laughs> and who, that, I never understood people that get offended if you insult their city. Yeah. Like, it's not like your fucking father started Vancouver. <laughs> like, it's not like your dad invented Vancouver yeah. and us shitting on Vancouver is insulting your family. Well, that's why we don't mind. Like, if somebody comes here and like, Montreal, the city shit and stuff, we're like, yeah, okay. hey, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah, we, uh, look, we, we don't have yeah. a lot of options to vote for, so yeah. they keep fucking us over. You're not wrong. Yeah. So that's why. Especially when people come here and say, this place sucks, and you're like, you came here on vacation. Yeah, I love How you. How fucking stupid you know? are you that you're like, that place is a shithole. I should go there for 14 days. Yeah, I never in my life said, I need a vacation. I'm going to Albania. Yeah. Like, you know, like... <laughs> Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> crazy. Oh, but you're right. I never understood people who came to vacation here. Like, what? 
They came to see. You like, never understood why they came to vacation. Yeah, here. they came to see basically that, a light up bridge and the fucking knock off Notre Dame. Well, it's one of the the first main cities of Canada. Um, it's fucking close to New York. We got the Montreal Canadiens, big history. There's stuff to see here. Ah. <laughs> about the Canucks. <laughs> what? Uh, there, there's nothing about uh, people being in a, uh, offended, offended by the, the word, but there's a lot of question. There's a lot of people questioning if uh, it's um, an offensive word. So it's, it's as if, you know, I, will it insult a Canadian if I call them Canucks? It's all, it's, you know. It, they're trying to uh, like they're asking. I think they're just yeah, they're trying, they're trying to, to find trying to something. Because yeah. yeah. I think us. the reason why it doesn't insult anyone is because when you think Canuck, you think of like a white dude, and generally white dudes don't get offended by shit. It's white the, dudes are like, I don't, know, I don't care. I don't know which white yeah. dudes we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. I mean, look at Antifa. They're always fucking offended by everything. Yeah, right? but yeah. they're all white. It's the yeah. equivalent of Yankee. They're. Yeah, Yankees isn't offensive either. No. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes people in the South say that, like in Texas. Like, look at those Yankees. Who's offended by Yankees? Yeah. Is that really your best word? And that's you're an your... adult man. That's like somebody getting mad and be like, you dumb, dumb. Yeah. But you're... <laughs> and plus you're insulting right, Grandpa. someone by calling them the name of the best baseball team in history. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking you're like, successful. You goddamn 96 Chicago Bull. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, all right, I'll take that. Oh, uh, shit. I was Googling uh, racial slurs for Greeks. Uh, yeah. A while back. You don't need Google, sir. I got it. Because uh, I was arguing with a coworker, right? Yeah. And uh, he's like, fuck, I got to find a racial slur for Greeks. They say like, fucking Greeks. Yeah. They say fucking uh, Greeks. Uh, what else? Tzatziki, uh, Suvlaki face. Suvla- Suvlaki face? That's like a <laughs> year old thing. I don't know. That, look, that's the only ones I've Putsin heard. Putsin head. These are stupid. <laughs> yeah. Suvlaki face. I've heard, I've heard in that. Australia, it's wog. It's what? Wog. Wog? Wog. Wog. They call the Greeks their wogs. Why? And apparently it's really offensive. Why? And to me, I'm like, that is ridiculous. But that what does is, it stand for? I don't fucking know. Who cares? I'm not Australian. They're all retards, like, bro. I don't you know. like WAP is, stands for, what does it stand without for? Without papers. Yeah, without papers. What does wog stand for? Without... <laughs> Without guns, I don't fucking yeah. know, bro. The point <laughs> is, that maybe without Greece, because they're not in Greece anymore. Maybe, I don't, but, that, well, but that doesn't make and sense. And apparently, it's offensive. And yeah. I was like, who gets offended? If somebody comes up to me and calls me a wog, I'd be like, bro, you have a speech impediment. What is <laughs> happening? What is, you know? But that, I've never. Heard, we don't have any yeah. hard ones that people turn their heads to. Well, well even pe- like French Canadian, like uh, when people call us peppers. Even that pepper. Who, who I never cares? understood that one. Pepper's delicious. Pepper, it's because it's it, and it's. I don't stupid. know where it comes from. It's it's because of Pepsi, because French Canadians uh, drank Pepsi instead of Coke, oh, and it was stupid. short for Pepsi, even though Pepper is as long as Pepsi. And it's another word. Yeah, and it's another word. So they're trying to say we're stupid by fucking everything up. Yeah, you're so. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. You're so dumb. You're a Pepper. What? Like that drink? It's black. <laughs> Pepsi. Yeah, pepper. <laughs> it's so what? stupid. Frogs? frogs? Not that racist. Yeah, frog. Yeah, I, I, I love when French people get insulted by frog. Who cares? But you know what that shows you? It doesn't matter how stupid the word. <laughs> you only care about intention. Yeah. Like if somebody says you're a table, you're like whatever. But if somebody really means like you fucking table, you're like, hey, fuck you, bro. I'm not a table. Nobody eats on yeah. me. You know, you yeah. just get defensive. <laughs> yeah. You get defensive for no reason yeah. when really you should be like. Yeah, I don't the table. Get the yeah. fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. Yeah, it shouldn't be a, an issue. I don't know. But I we think don't... wog is the least offensive yeah. insult I've ever heard. But we're also not in Australia, so I don't know there. Yeah. Because like maybe in Australia, I don't know, they're dropping N-bombs left and right. I don't fucking know. Like, uh, I don't well, know what... One of the insults that he, he Googled, then, then he kept calling Who, me after. You said that you Googled. Huh? You're like, yeah. I Googled a thing. You said well, you Googled. Like, we Googled. We Googled together, I guess. I don't know. Like on a date? Because yeah. you needed help? No, we were at work. No. Did you need help to no, Google? You wanted, because I, cause I How could... old is this fucking story? You haven't worked since February. And you're like, oh, yeah, like last week, I Googled he, something. Like, with like my he needed help. He's like, bro, bro, where do I go to Google things? <laughs> anyway. So, uh, he was like, you're typing into the TV. <laughs> So I kept I kept busting his balls, right? And he goes, "I gotta find a racial insult well, for you." What, what nationality was he? He was a Hispanic. What were you calling him? 
A wet bag. Ah, that's a stu- There's so many yeah. better ones. A wet bag. I never found Spick. that offensive. I would, I would mess with him. Uh, Even these are not... Order pizzas. I don't know. What, what country was he from? Or his family from? Uh, Cuba. Cuba. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So could have called him a, so a oh, dirty work. communist. We were, yeah. we would, uh, no, he was uh, very against communism. Yeah, he hates communism. And his he parents lives. escaped communism. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How fucked up how, for Cubans? Do you think it fucks their head? when they Because you have to escape normally Cuba. Yeah. You escape Cuba, yeah. bro. You tell Fidel Castro go fuck himself. You come here and you see his son in charge of this country. You don't think that fucks their heads? <laughs> <laughs> you think that fucks with people? No. <laughs> and plus being called a wetback. Is a good thing. That means his fucking family escaped. That yeah, means they by, ran. They well, fucking look, I don't know what it means. swam yeah. across the ocean. But like, you but know like, how amazing that is. I think everyone wants to pretend like, oh, us too. Like, no one w- wants to allow black people to have anything anymore. Even that. They're like, no, no. You think you guys are offended? Haha. <laughs> I'll tell you, sir. I'm very yeah. offended too. Yeah. They called me a Karen. <laughs> yeah. So the end thing, whatever. Like the. They're fucking, yeah. just calm down. Let black people have this one fucking thing. You can't have, let them have that. I saw someone on Twitter trying to steal the Karen thing. Because uh, Karen comes from the movie Goodfellas. Okay. Because, uh, you know, his yeah. wife was Karen and when, she was always, you know, being a Karen. Yeah. And, uh, and then someone... And then he so, beat up the neighbors. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. He fucked up the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. But then someone wrote, no, it's not. It's called Karen's because of black people. What? And then... I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And then someone explained it. They were like, because uh, black people uh, saw the movie Goodfellas. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's, it's from the movie Goodfellas. It's not because black people saw Goodfellas that it's called a Karen. What a... That's, yeah, that's it doesn't retarded. make sense. Yeah, so they're just, blaming black people for Karen? Yeah, it's, but this, I, I, this person was. <laughs> I, should, I should just fucking block people on yeah. Twitter. Instead of just fucking going, like, I, and plus I don't even write people publicly anymore. I DM them. So I'm like, why am I doing this? I, I, I only replied to one person once this week just to try and see what they're thinking. But everyone I see doesn't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. There was a guy on Twitter that was talking to me and Poseidon that I was talking to him. They, I guess they just saw a news story about you going to the Supreme Court. For, I don't know how CBC wrote it, but they're under the impression that you went to a child... Made him cry, a handicap. By the way, they keep calling him handicapped. The guy's not. Ha- Imagine being online. You're like, yeah. I'm not fucking retarded. And they're like, he was mean to a retard. You're like, Jesus Christ, I'm not a fucking. Yeah. So anyway, so that you went up to a kid, you made him cry to the point where he wanted to commit suicide. That's what they're saying, which is nowhere near what the fuck yeah. happened. Mm. They're not talking. First of all, he's an adult. They keep saying that he's yeah. a child. Like all kinds of crazy shit. I don't know if it's the CBC that's mis purposely mistranslating to make it seem like that. Or if it's just people read a headline and they yeah. fill in the dots. I, I don't think know where it is. I, like, I had one woman. This week, I answered a woman. She wrote me. She was like, your dark humor is, uh, she was like, uh, your dark humor is very stupid. And then I just Googled dark humor. And because I, I, I remember there was an article I saw a year ago that, uh, like, laughing at shit that's dark is a sign of intelligence. intelligence yeah. And people that don't. That can't understand comedy in tragic situations are idiots. Are idiots. So I just replied with uh, like a link to the article, and I'm, I hope that she's smart enough to understand, but she's not. No, there's and not a chance. And then a help. minute later, her husband wrote me, and he just he 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 sent a fucking. I've been getting a lot of pictures from people. I think they're too fucking stupid to write, so they'll send me a fucking like gif. That they find, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is my life now. I don't get, I get a lot of people sending me pictures of their tits. Of, of tits? Yeah. That's I nice. get a lot of tit pictures, but I don't share them with anybody because I, unlike him, am a goddamn gentleman. However, a lot of tit pics, unsolicited. Really? Yeah. Look at his inbox, filled with dick pics. <laughs> All solicited. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a lot of dick pics? No, no I've no. never gotten a dick pic. You, you will now, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> of this really asshole. Well now. The yeah. Poseidon69 on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> yeah. His DMs are open. <laughs> Phone number 514. I wouldn't. I, I, don't, I never give people's numbers out like that for gags. You know why? Just because I know how annoying it is dealing with the phone companies to change your number. Yeah. So I don't want nobody to go through that. It's fucking or you can just block the number. 
No, no, but if everyone has your number, you're not going to sit there blocking a thousand numbers. That's true. I don't think. Is that what you have done? <laughs> Listen, bro, I got to take the week off. Why? I got to block some numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Words. I think I had. Words. I didn't. <laughs> Words and things. He is good, though. He's fu- you don't know, He's more excited than me about the new studio. Really? He's fucking... Yeah, you get more excited than... You get more hyped up than... I, well, it's going to be your office. The yeah. second studio. No. Yeah. So he's... I'm leaving him in charge. Are you uh, going to get a, a name plaque for the door? Yeah. Really? You're, the door in the rental studio is called the Mike Ward Theater of Dreams. And then my studio, I don't know what to call it. I don't have a name for it. I don't know. What should I call it, Poseidon? The Wog Room. Oh... I should just have racial slurs, <laughs> like the five best ones, and then have to walk the door, and they know what they're getting into. Yeah. Or what about? <laughs> nah, never mind. What are you gonna say? That's stupid. What's your mom's name? That's stu- shut the fuck. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying what's your mom's name? Uh, I forgot. But I'm not gonna say my mother's you, name. You publicly. forgot your mom's name? <laughs> no, I didn't. But I'm not gonna say my mom's name. You're the your Canadian mom? Joe huh? no, Biden. Why? I can name it after your mom. No, you don't have to. I was going to say, name it uh, the pants closet. Cause, like I said, it was, it was stupid. I know. Pant I closet. thought of it. Pant look, closet because Pantelis and, and closet. Pa- yeah. <laughs> He's, so it's... <laughs> so you're... <laughs> Amazing. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I was going to do you the honors. Tell your mom that you named something after her. But you, you got all fucking weird. No. no. You would have... Succeeded. You would have been dream. a goddamn hero. You would have been coming in and out of his mom every day. Would have yeah. been. Uh, she would have. <laughs> You're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nasty, Mister. Everybody gets stuck in vacuum cleaners or whatever the fuck your your videos were. You remember that when he went yeah. through a phase? That was, that everyone was, was getting stuck no, no, no. in windows. That was hot videos in Canada. Okay, <laughs> not recommended. Okay, in Canada. Where do you live? Not recommended. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, wait. They were not. They were not recommended. They were highly not recommended. No, they weren't recommended to me out of my selection, right? (laughs) Yo, like out of what I watch. Speaking of recommended, you know how you get targeted ads. So on my cell phone, I have a VPN. I use a what's the VPN I use? Express VPN. Okay. I have it on my phone, on my computer, but on the computer it's never on, but on the phone it's always on. And I go to New York or whatever. So I think because a lot of people use it, it just mixes everything up. Because on Instagram, I had, you know, Wish. It was at like nine slides that you do. All of them crazy. The first one was a thing that you put on your dick so it could suck your dick for you. So I'm like, is that? What the fuck? It's like a dick sucker, basically. It got mixed up with my VPN. But here's the thing. So you <laughs> think, okay, the next one's similar. So I'm like, what the fuck? I slide Lego set for kids. <laughs> Legos, bro. Lego for the next one. Then stuff for your ankles, for your thighs, like women stuff, whatever. And then other sex toys, like random shit. It was the most fucked up. And I, and I messaged my friends. I go, why am I getting, like, is Wish just random shit? And like, no, it's based on your search history. I was like, I never looked for any of these fucking things. Like, how is it? And then I figured out it's because of the fucking VPN. So pl- everybody who's using that is looking for random shit. So they're trying their best to show me what they think I like. I- and it's dick sucking machines and Legos. And most people that, like, use a VPN changer... It's because they, they want to s- either search embarrassing stuff or illegal stuff. But there's s- <laughs> one dude that was like a shade of, of yeah, Legos. Yeah, he was yeah. like, what's he doing with those Legos? He's using VPN because it's a shame. He's like, no one's going to know. And then he's getting dick-sucking machines. Yeah. That fucking ad. Yeah. yeah, so it was all crazy shit on Wish. Yeah. Well, Legos are for like 10 years old to 99 years old, so it's fine. No, they're not. Legos are from zero to ten. Yeah. Right. It, no, it's no, not on the ten box, to ninety-nine. On the box, it says uh, maximum ninety-nine years old. It doesn't say ninety-nine years old. Sure? Where did Legos. I see? I, I feel think like it says maximum ninety-nine. Yeah. I feel like that's I saw a, that. That's somewhere. a joke to make fun of old uh, old people. I think. Should like we when Google they're one hundred, they can't yeah. play with Legos. Yeah. Should we Google it? Do, we, you, know, do you want to ask your friend to help you or? Yeah. Do you have? Oh, a, you guys made me forget. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the racial slur that came up. For Greeks, I forgot the other one. Oh, okay, you're yeah. still there. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Does but it I forgot. start with an N and end with an R? Yes. Oh, really? All right. Let me. So we go with them because, like, we kept busting each other's Carry balls, on. right? We, we, we were <laughs> cool like that, right? We kept busting. He goes, "I gotta find uh, a really you funny were cool racial like slur." That. Yeah, yeah. We were homies at work. 
Okay, yeah. And uh, by, um, by insulting each other's race. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, one of them that came up is the words olive nigger. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could see yeah. that, yeah. So he, he called me that for like five months, and then he quit. And Poseidon would walk in after that with a sideways hat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, am I cool now? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you use it for anybody, though. They yeah. do that for everyone. Sand, they do it for anyone. Yeah. 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 That's I've not never one. heard, though. I've heard the, no, never the, heard that, yeah. the sand one, but never all of. Yeah. That means you can use it for everyone. Everyone. That's yeah. what I'm trying to do. I told you, they don't want black people to have anything. Yeah. yeah. That's the kind of world we live in right now. Goddamn God Antifa. Oh, you blame me Antifa for this? Yes, because they're communists. They are communists, so that's true. Yeah. I don't like them. Not Anti- Antifa's not communist. It's uh, the Black Lives Matter people that are communists. Antifa, technically speaking, they shouldn't want anything. Why? But a lot of them, yeah, you're right. A lot of them are communists. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right. But why wouldn't they want anything? Like they want anarchy. I love that you've never heard the word anarchy. No, before. I have. I have. You never heard okay. anarchy. I've heard it. Okay. No, no. But you were looking at him like he was like. No, but they he still made that word up. But they still technically want something. They want anarchy, you know. But so. not a form of government, basically. But it's crazy because all the people that you see doing that shit. They're all these scrawny little dudes that if it was no rules, they would be the first to get raped and murdered. Yeah. Yeah. So they should want all the rules. Yeah. Right? Yeah, actually, yeah. They should want all the rules. Yeah. Imagine, there's no rules. He'd be out there fucking consensual raping everyone out there. Like, he'd, yeah. just... <laughs> <laughs> he'd ruin it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he went. Oh, yeah, uh, the racial slurs. Yeah. So were you upset that we don't have any good racial slurs against us? Yeah, I was upset. You see what I mean? We're fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I would love to hear... Of, how many Greek people are there? There's uh, 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 20 million in the yeah. world. 20 million that. in the world. So you guys deserve more racial insults. Yeah. Yeah. Like we all, get good threats, though. We get yeah. good threats. Like, the, the Turkish government is always threatening to cut our heads off and drown us in the water and stuff. Yeah. But they're, they're not... Ending it with a racial slur. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. We need better racial slurs against yeah. us. I don't know how you get them, though. I've got an ass fucker. Ass you got fucker? Ass fucker? I, no, I've got an ass fucker like a ra- as a racial slur. because That's not a racial slur. Many really people are slur. out there fucking asses, sir. And then, and then what I tell people is like, hey, you better fucking be careful then. So th- you threaten them with rape? Yeah. So they say that you rape asses. Yeah, fight fire with rape. Yeah. You're like, I don't rape asses, but if you don't watch out, I'm going to rape your ass. Like, is that? Yeah. I don't fuck asses. I rape them. <laughs> they call you ass fucker? I've been, as a racial slur for Greeks, I've been called an ass fucker. That's funny. I would love by, that. By one of your customers? or By, <laughs> by people in general. <laughs> Look at this ass fucker. <laughs> they call, Look, <laughs> there's a problem with the car. Who rented the car? That fucking ass fucker. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Who called you an ass fucker? Yeah, people. Yeah, who? Who? Yeah. How often is this happening? Yeah, it's happened like people, two, three times. People means a lot of people. Yeah. Like two, three times it happened. In the same week or? No, like by the same person. Like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's one dude. Yeah. Ah, Did so... you fuck this guy in the ass? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So no. you're upset that there's no good racial slurs against yes. us. What's, what are you going to do about it? You should start one. Yeah. Yeah, but what? That's See, that's the magic of this, right? So the better it is, the more it'll catch on, the more likely you are to re- be remembered in history. As a traitor to his people. What? I'm just saying. Why traitor? Well, you're going to be remembered for the wrong reasons, but at the same time, all the right reasons. Here, I'll Wait, give you, what? Hold on. I'll give you a that, tip. That... Hold I'll on, give hold you, on. I'll give you a tip. I'll give you yeah, a tip. Yeah, okay, okay. If you want to have a good racial slur, it needs to be one word. Forget ass fucker. Too long. Okay, okay. One word. Should end with an R. R, hard R are normally good. We've seen this. They work. Okay? Uh, how you get to the R, that's the strategy. That's the magic. <laughs> Can't think of anything. Well, that's not the first time that happens. Um, <laughs> but if you do, come back and let us know, because I think uh, we can use it. What would you, if you want to hurt someone with a racial slur, right? 
but the person you're trying to hurt doesn't have any good racial slurs against them, what do you do? What if a Serbian pisses you off? What do you say? Call him a dirty Serb. So you just add dirty? Yeah. Like they do to yeah. us, dirty Greek. Yeah. But it's not that bad. You think yeah, they're going to be offended? it's not that bad, yeah. You have a Portuguese slur. I'm a little dirty, actually. You have a Portuguese slur? No. Spanish? Spanish, yeah, speak. Just retard, because they speak with a lisp. España. Oh, you're talking about from Spain? Yeah, yeah, from Spain. Spain Spanish from Spain. He's not wrong. I can't say that he's wrong. Re- just do. retard. Is you ever heard them? Yeah. They do that because the it was a prince, right, that, that had a lisp. So everyone started talking like him, so he wouldn't feel different. Yeah. yeah. That's very weird. We should do that with yeah. him. Yeah. Just every time we talk, just stop and go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, there's some countries don't have a good one. Yeah. I don't know how we got to this. It's a really fucking weird corner. Yeah, it is, it is yeah. a little weird. Because now I want to break it. I want to find a good racial slur. But then if it's too good, I'm going to get in trouble. Why? If everybody starts using an amazing racial slur against Greeks, they're going to be like, where did this come from? And then my fucking face is going to be there. It's going to be CTV News all over again when they said that I sympathize with North Koreans. It's the same fucking shit. <laughs> Little kids are going to cry because of you. Yeah. I didn't even know about that. I got phone calls. I had no idea. I don't follow them on social media. Those people who called me. It's like, why are oh, you? Oh, yeah. CTV News said that you sympathize with North Korea. Yeah. With uh, Kim Jong-un at the time. Ill, whoever okay. was the first. The, the father? Yeah. Ill? It just had my face like this. <laughs> and what have you said? I said, I don't like him. Or we should not, uh, we should not give in to fucking North Korea. Fuck him. Do whatever we want. And then they took that, said the complete opposite. Yeah. And how is that news? Like, that's very... What the fuck is wrong? It was a slow news week. Look, Mike, I don't know if you know this. The city revolves around me, apparently, and what I feel about North Korea. Uh, It's not news. It's fucking crazy. It's complete insanity. And also, at least say the truth. Don't make it look like I said that I said that. You know what it probably was? It was probably some uh, new newbie, like, uh, reporter. And I was like, I got to make a name for myself reporting. And then he thought he had, like, a hot tip. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he thought he had a hot take. He probably even misunderstood himself, which we're trying to say. It's like, I got a hot take. People are sympathizing. It wasn't hard Korea. to understand what I said. Yeah. You, how do you take fuck North Korea and turn it into this guy loves North Korea? Like, how do you change that, you know? Maybe maybe understood I want to fuck North Koreans. Yeah. And you like them. What, were you the journalist? What are you talking <laughs> about? Yeah. But it's, it's like I was reading your, your uh, they wrote a piece on you at CTV, and I know the joke in French. Their, your joke with Psy me, and they didn't quote it properly. The guy wrote it in English, but it was incorrect. Yeah, and he wrote like that. He wrote that you were saying people are just nice to him because he's handy, which was the opposite. Yeah. It was be nice to him because, but he wrote his own fucking yeah. version of the joke. And then he wrote like, um, uh, I did a joke that the kid wouldn't die. Yeah. And then because he wouldn't die, I actually tried to murder him. Yeah, that's what he wrote. That's in what he wrote. Real life. What? That's what yeah. He wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the same week as uh, uh, Steve Faggy. You know the guy from, uh, I think he used oh, to work. Oh, Fa- uh, Yeah. The radio to, guy, yeah. Yeah. He, he wrote Hold a on. thing about how CFCF12 was closing. And I was like, good. Yeah. I'm fucking happy. Yeah, fuck these people. Fuck them. Yeah, yeah the media is fucking media garbage. Is garbage, yeah. They're just making stuff. I never, when I was younger, it used to seem all like just made up. Like, in the, oh, people are over exaggerating. And now that I get to see it firsthand, I'm like, holy fuck. I, they're lying. I see complete yeah. lies, and they know that they're doing it. They know that they're lying, but they don't care. They don't retract stories. Like we were talking about last week, Chris D'Elia. Yeah. The second Chris D'Elia showed up with receipts, you think they come back and be like, sorry, we, we, we didn't have all the information. We called him a rapist. And not. Nobody retracted anything. They left all the links up there. No, they didn't want to yeah. come clean. Yeah. They just ruined the guy's career. Yeah. That I'm actually angry at because they even used him uh, acting in, in the movies and in the shows as a pedophile being a pedophile they actually use that against him which is fucking insane that's very bad for you yeah. they use everything you say on these podcasts you're going to jail for a long yeah. time I think <laughs> I think too like uh, but he uh, do you think his career is over or no? I can't tell anymore like it depends how hardcore his fans are because yeah. Louis is able to do whatever he wants because he has yeah. a good fan base he could release stuff on his own website he's going to make his money he's fine he could even tour I don't think Chris Lee is popular enough though that's so, the problem. I don't think he has real fans. So then if he didn't do yeah. anything wrong, it sucks that his yeah. fucking career is over. Yeah. Just by, just you know, we needed a victim. We needed someone that week. 
to blame all our problems yeah, he's on. he's a sacrificial lamb. Yeah. Well, what he should have done, I think, is go full hardcore and fucking fuck the little kids. No, no, no. Sue people. Sue people. Sue them for a fucking... Well, uh, look, man. If you're going to well, accuse no, hold me... On, hold on. If you're going to accuse me, I'm going to find your kid yeah. and the most handsome one is going to get ass fucked. <laughs> I'm not Greek, but I'm going to fuck him in the ass anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the real ass fucker. Uh, okay, what's your plan, Poseidon? <laughs> that, uh, can he sue them for defamation? Stop saying defamation. Uh, but it is, because he's not actually a rapist. He's not a rapist, but the way they wrote it was, was kind of like he's a predator instead of a rapist. So they said, well, we didn't say he, you know, he raped. We said he's a predator, yeah. right? And then this could be considered predatory. This could be, it's just... And plus, they didn't say he was a predator. They did a weird thing that they said he was grooming, yeah. which makes it seem even creepier. Yeah. Because the best part is the girl that they said he groomed, she messaged him when she was like 18, 16, whatever the fuck she was, and she told him how old. So he just ignored her for three, four years. And then she replied to him. She was 21 or something. That they wanted to fuck. And the first time he still didn't reply, he replied to her a year later. But she had deleted all those messages in her thread. Okay. And he still is called a groomer. He ignored someone for five years. Groomer. Yeah. yeah. It's not fair. I, had, I, feel, I, and I don't like the guy. I don't have anything personal. Like, I don't know him. I don't like the guy. It's just... It's unfair to fuck someone over like yeah. that when you see all the, the facts after I, I, I hate that shit. I have two friends that I realized like to fuck 17-year-olds. Because uh, two of my friends, like when I was talking about Chris D'Elia, and I was like, yeah, he was uh, grooming a 17-year-old. And then they were like, yeah, that's legal. Because <laughs> technically it is legal. Like, I don't even like to hang out with 17-year-olds. The age Look. is 16. The age of consent in California is 16. But I was like, if you know that... That means that you fucking Googled that, right? Because I wouldn't, like, I'm 46, and I wouldn't be able to have sex with anyone under 25. You can't even talk to them. Yeah. I couldn't, because the reason why I couldn't fuck someone under 25 is uh, my dick isn't good enough for someone under 25. (laughs) No, there's like, that. That's funny. But I, just I got mean, an old man dick. I so think, I need someone that's seen another old man dick. I don't to even go, like that's hanging a good out. old man dick. I can't even hang out with 20 year olds. Like sometimes if we're out and we hear people talking, like it's a group of young people, mm. we want to strangle all of them. They're dummies. You know what I mean? They're ju- it's just the shit they talk about. It's, it annoys you. You know what I mean? So you don't. So even if it was legal, it's uh, I want to kill them all. Which I don't think that's any yeah. better either. That's that, I, I think you, you're better off grooming someone than murdering <laughs> them. <laughs> it's just, I get annoyed easy. Especially or, in conversation, I get annoyed very, very easy. You should groom them for suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I like where this is going. Yeah. I like where this is going. They're like, he was talking to me, he asked how old I was. I said I was 16. And then I said, do you you want want me to send you a picture of my tits? No, I want you to find your dad's gun. Put it in your mouth. (laughs) That'll turn me on so much, baby. One less teenager. (laughs) I just mean that they're annoying. Like, even Chris D'Elia, the shit that, like, how do you have a conversation? Yeah, You can't. How do you, you you can't. The two two fucking... The They're gonna fu- start TikTok dancing. Oh in front my of you. god, yeah. The, the two fucking. Uh, TikTok's immature. getting banned in the States. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. That's why I brought it up. That's yeah. why I brought it up. Go on. Yeah. Okay. So, Where else am I gonna see these kids dance, bro? No. <laughs> so I actually spoke about it on my uh, In Bed with Poseidon. Nice. Patreon.com slash yeah. Pantel. And uh, what's funny is a lot of. Uh, yes, there you go. Uh, a lot of a lot of web, a lot of media companies like uh, you know uh, CNN and all that bullshit yeah, came out saying media companies, saying, media companies saying, yeah you know. saying that uh, Trump banning TikTok is racist and xenophobic, which I don't think it is. But I want to get your input. It's just like uh, that's one of the dumbest things yeah. I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. <laughs> How is it racist? Well, that's what I said. Then what he was the explanation? He said, uh, like, um, wasn't it that he said if Microsoft buys the American version of TikTok, they can stay? Yeah. But uh, like, He doesn't want China spying on us anymore. S- except if, if, like, TikTok sells a sort of franchise to Microsoft, they can still spy on us. Well, China no, is be- not supposed to have the servers anymore. Microsoft's supposed to take over, everything over. So he's like, I can't let the Chinese spy yeah. on us. Microsoft, Bill Gates... He's been spying on us for years. Us, yeah. so keep spying. That's crazy. I'm, it's crazy how people are like, we we gotta watch out. We can't let 
these big companies spy on us, but then we spend our fucking days on Instagram taking pictures of where we are, yeah. what we're doing. We fucking all have Alexa. We like You could kill him. You know how easily it is to track him. He fucking documents everything. Not everything. Everything. Where he is, his car, what he's wearing, all that, at what time. You know how easy it is? I'm just telling you guys, if anybody wants to kill him, you could track him down and kill him easily. I'm not telling you to do it, by the way. <laughs> Legally, I'm supposed to disclose this. Uh, but if you, you wanted to, he's one of the easiest people to murder. You can lure him in with sex. Look, it's easy to find me. Yeah. That's but you're gonna, saying... That's all I'm going to say. Hard to kill you, though. I'm not saying anything. It's also easy to have sex with you. So... It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you could kill him. But yeah, what you were saying is we give up all this information. Yeah. So I don't know why we're so afraid of companies that are spying on us when they don't even have to spy on us. Well, yeah. And even like without TikTok, like my wife doesn't have TikTok on her phone. And uh, our, uh, our neighbor, like uh, the new place we have, she just said his name and like in the kitchen. And then um, her phone, uh, like her Facebook was like, you should follow, the, like they... They suggested that she should follow him, but he's a man in his seventies. That we he's didn't on even, TikTok. Yeah, we, no, he was on. Uh, yeah, he's doing all those dances. <laughs> no, he on Facebook, but like so, all of those companies just spy on us. Yeah, they also. Oh, I know that. I know. I, we've tested. Remember two years ago on the podcast, we did it live in front of people. We didn't realize because uh, I thought it was a conspiracy that they can't listen to your shit. Yeah, they but listen to everything. Random shit we were talking about that I've never searched. Uh, we started getting that night ads. On my phone, on Instagram, it's just because I talked about it. Yeah, it's all, it's always listening. It's well, very scary. Google is being sued for like five billion or something. Oh yeah, because even when yeah. you go to incognito, yeah. they save all your shit because yeah. they yeah, want. They're not supposed to. They're saying they were trying to get psychological profiles on everyone because they want to know what you shop, what turns you on, where you spend most of your time. So they need to take all your info, including the private tabs, the stuff that you're hiding from people, to get a psychological profile on you, which is fucking scary. Yeah. Yeah. I, the only people that use that, though, it's to hide from whatever you jerk off to. But, yeah. Uh, to your, so, so what are they going to use yeah. it for? So they're like, oh, he really likes porn. But that will be millions yeah. of people. But you know what worries me? What worries me is that there's actually people out there that think, like, want to commit a crime or want to go to the dark web or whatever. want to do crazy shit. Tell us about the dark web. After. And then they go, I don't know nothing about the dark web. And they go, fuck, I'm going to go into incognito mode and get away with Instead it. Instead of the dark Web. Instead of like, I don't or know, like, using a VPN or something web. else. It's yeah. overrated. Like who, apart from porn, what, what do people use incognito mode for? Apart from porn. I don't even use uh, incognito for porn. And if I, like, when I do, the, the thing I started doing now, I didn't used to do. I just delete my, my history for the last hour. I haven't deleted my history in a long time. Uh, I forgot that you could do that. But I get all my porn by mail. The old school yeah. way. Bro, yeah. I'm a fucking gentleman. <laughs> he gets he gets his. And I don't want I don't want the box to be covered. Yeah. I want the mailman to feel awkward. He, he <laughs> and he gets a mailman to hold the pictures for him. Sir, you know you can get this on the internet for free. Mm. Shut up, old man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah. You mean there's video of you crying on the internet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay there till I finish. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not the forward that does it for me. It's your yeah. tears. It's <laughs> oh, shit. They still have, you know how crazy that is? Do they really have what, still, what, you could mail in porn? What, I was just joking. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have mail in porn, but when you stop at uh, truck stops in the States, yeah. they still have like porn like magazines. Oh, Even those though exist though. Yeah. Yeah, and, and someone like, I, I don't know why I talked to the person at the cash register about this, but I was like, wh wh who buys this? And she was like, truckers? Don't and they I have cell like, phones? They have fucking cell phones. Well, sometimes, because like on the road. <laughs> but you're not going to jerk hold off. On, you're like on. switching gears. Mike, Mike, we're on to something. Okay. No, 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 hold on. Because like sometimes, look, my, my father was a trucker. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> he's not lying. Look, he didn't tell me when he would jerk off or anything, but he would explain to me that sometimes... Sometimes as you're driving, what a man needs to uh, masturbate. Hold on, hold on. As you're driving, sometimes you pass your hours that you're supposed to be driving. So you got to pull over. Jerk off. No, no, no. And, and, uh, and uh, sleep. Sleep it off, right? 
but some areas you're out in the woods, right? So there's no data. So I mean, that would make sense why some truckers buy just in case they get stranded. Some so if you're no stuck, data. you're stranded, there's no signal. You're like, fuck, what do I do? Jerk off. That well, if you're bored, bro, you can't watch no YouTube videos. But why don't you go park Couldn't, somewhere where there's signal yeah. just in case somebody, there's an emergency, a, uh, a fucking, I don't know, a serial killer shows up. You're going to go where there's no signal, and the first thing you think of is, oh, let me jerk off. Like, well, they crazy. have their radio. Couldn't, couldn't they, they have their radio. They have their radio for download, emergencies. Couldn't they download I'm going to be porn? Off, offline for 20 minutes. Yeah. i got to take care of something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, couldn't they download porn on their computers? <laughs> I'm saying if they didn't think ahead. But they definitely thought ahead if they bought fucking Hustlers. Yeah. Right? I'm saying if they didn't think ahead from home. But but so they thought they thought about the porn on the way and they were like fuck okay yeah. I'll stop and I'll buy a magazine <laughs> yeah that makes sense bro you'd be surprised you know you know what some Indians do whoa, whoa some whoa, Indians whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa some Indian hold on In, Indian Indian truck drivers whoa okay hold on, hold on, hold on. Indian truck drivers hold on what kind of Indians are we talking about here whoa, 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 whoa. or duck what are we <laughs> No, Just, dot. I don't want it to get racist. Dot. Okay, no, go yeah. on. No, no, no. Uh, no okay, in, so it's not racist. On. Indian, the uh, other way, is uh, native. I know. That's yeah. why you I was worried. You can't I was, say no, no, I was that's very native. worried. You can't. I was very worried. Yeah. All right, tell me about these Sri Lankans. <laughs> what some of them do is, uh, and it's been well documented. By your dad. Some of them will I have a DVD. <laughs> There's a documentary on it. Um, they'll carve a hole into their seat. Okay. Okay. You had me at around a round hole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they'll dig all the way through the floor of the truck. Yeah. And they'll hide their. So they don't have to stop for the bathroom. They'll shit as they drive. They'll shit as they drive. Let me ask a question. Shitting and pissing. The company that owns the truck aren't they upset about this? They They don't care. They buy their own trucks just to shit through it. (laughs) Seems like a lot of money to shit comfortably, bro. Well, no, because like they start doing company type shit. What about wiping their ass? They don't. That's just racist, bro. That's just no, no, uh, I don't. <laughs> so, no, they they won't. They'll eventually when they do stop, they'll wipe their ass. I guess I don't fucking know, bro. Or they'll do wipe you, as they're driving and throw it down the hole. I don't fucking. That must know, affect bro. the resale value know. of the truck. Because <laughs> like, imagine a guy selling that truck to someone else. Yeah. He's talking about the tires. <laughs> Maybe that's why they buy uh, magazines and porn to wipe magazines. their ass. Yeah, to wipe their ass. <laughs> he jerks off and. That's disgusting. What a that, yeah, that truck that, must stink. That, but that is the weirdest, most racist lie I've ever heard. <laughs> like, like, I want to see an Indian guy true. trying to resell. I don't know if yeah. it's true. It's definitely it's not true. Ne- no accident. Yeah. Very nice what, grill. Because like, if, if we have a the, shit hole. If you're the type of person that's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna shit on the road. You're not gonna stop your car on the side of the road and dig a fucking hole. You're just going to be like, fucking, I'm shitting my pants. You're just going to shit yeah, in when your do pants. they no, dig the was, hole? Yeah, you this don't was need preemptively a dug. So like, they buy the truck they and they're like, truck? I'm going to drill a hole into they this drill, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. They just fucking... Or what they used to do... Well, what Back they, in the days. No, what they did afterwards, I guess, is they would be two by two. And then when the other one wanted to shit, they would like switch. Wipe each other's ass? I guess, something like so that. So who know. shits? The driver? Wouldn't it be safer if the passenger seat has the hole? Yeah, and plus, ah, bro, since they're two guys, they sell those sort of porta potties. Yeah, like uh, uh, like RVs have toilets. Shouldn't they just build a toilet in the back so that fucking the other guy can shit? I think instead you... of go look, I I I got a shit on the road, so I want you to sit next to me as I'm <laughs> taking a shit. Doesn't. Yeah, maybe told, in newer models. I have a question though because I like this. You know race. what? I realize I said this. I said Listen, this. Listen, I like, I like, I and like. Hold on, hold on. I like, hold on. I like race-based science I, just I, as much as the next guy. I realize. I'm who just told curious. Me. Who told you this? Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's it, the thing. Was this your hold rapper on. friend? No, no. Hold on. Who, hold who, on. who told you this on, about the on. Indian truck hold drivers? On. I'm just curious. I started, I started talking about this, but I was already committed yeah. when I realized who told me. This who told is you definitely your dad, right? It's your dad. It's my father. God damn it! God damn it. Yeah. We should have known. What else did he say that they also steal all the packages? What else did he say? <laughs> what? What else did he say? Uh, all right. No, no, no. Well, look, guys, if you like Poseidon, uh, which at this point, I don't know why you would. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why you, you would find either. him on Twitter and Instagram. 
at the Poseidon 69. That's the Poseidon 69. You can also find Mike Ward online, MikeWard.ca. You can find links to all of Mike's social medias. But if you go to patreon.com slash Suzekut, you're going to get the Patreon of Suzekut, the number one French language comedy podcast on the planet, all right? And this is well documented. The numbers are up there. Every month he's doing better and better. So you get the entire archive of Suzekut episodes. Uh, you get all the new stuff live. It's definitely worth your money. Uh, and if you go to patreon.com slash Pantelis, you subscribe for my Pantelis podcast, live streams with Poseidon, uh, shirt giveaways. Uh, I don't have one on me now, but, you know, we have custom shirts that we give out and a lot of other fun stuff. Mike, anything we forgot to say? No, I think we got everything. Thank you and go fuck yourselves. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Peace.